Hi, my name is Cecile Renaud from Tallahassee, Florida, and this tape is all about practice and drill design. This tape is about practice and drill design. I think it's real important to run the same type of practice structure every day. We'll start out with some introductions. We'll make sure we always alternate practice partners every day. We'll have a little team bonding and then we'll get into uh, some kind of a game warm up with the ball, really before we do any stretching. Then after that we'll start with ball control drills. Then we'll get into just some individual skills like maybe hitting or blocking. We'll do position training, maybe with middles, setters, or outsides. Then we'll get into team drills, team offense, team defense. And then we always end the practice in some kind of a six-on-six -six scrimmage with uh, maybe a particular focus for that day. But I, I think your team enjoys ending with six-on-six, -six, really game-like conditions. And it, it helps them become more successful during a game. All right, the first thing we're going to do today is uh, drill. We're going to look at a practice design and how we set up our drills. So as we would begin our practice today, even though we're only going to try and do this in one hour, uh, we're going to try and just show them quickly what a practice might be like. So the first thing I do is I would give the team any announcements that we had. Don't forget to pick up your books. Stay after practice if you need to see me for something. The second thing I do is I probably always have some kind of a motivational thought just to give you something to think about that might be based on what our practice is today. And then I also assign practice partners and I try and use a round robin of practice partners so they get to practice with somebody different every day, especially during the warm up because I feel like the better players always like to warm up with each other, players that are less skilled like to hang out together and it's a good way to integrate and get the seniors with the freshmen and juniors with sophomores. So we always try and assign our practice partners. Does that sound like a good idea? Good. And I think that helps with our team bonding. We might be doing some kind of a quick team bonding activity I've got a, look, a little book of team games and team building that we might just do something for five minutes to make sure you know a little bit more about each other and uh, hopefully get our team a little bit closer together. Then after that, what we'll do is just start with a quick warm up and usually our warm up consists of something that has to do with volleyball. It's not jogging around the court. It's not just running or doing uh, something else. But we want to go ahead and start out with something fun, something can give you a lot of contacts. So let's go ahead and start with uh, two on two up here at the net. We're going to try and get three contacts. Three contacts, trying to get a quick, just a nice little warm up. Nothing where any, here's the ball. Nothing where anybody will get hurt. Hopefully just a little ball control. We've put an antenna up here in the middle of the net so we'd make sure that we stay out of the way. Everybody's working on calling the ball. Good. All right, let's stop. Let's get the people in that don't, haven't been in yet real quickly. You guys switch sides. Brittany, you come in. Here we go, another group out here. Another group out here. Here we go. Ready? We got it. Okay, and just a little bit so everybody can get a little bit of a stretch. Nice job with this drill. Very nice ball control. Good. Nice. Keep talking. This is, here we go. This is an opportunity for us to talk every time we contact the ball. The out of bounds line is right here at the end line. Here we go. Ready? Talking with our teammates. Okay, that's good. We would do this probably about five minutes or so, and then we'd have them go stretch. So let's get them off the court, and let's go do our stretching right here. Again, they'd be stretching with their individual partner. There uh, are just uh, numerous ways that you can stretch, and that would be up to our team trainer. It looks to me like they all know what they're doing. And uh, this is a time where it's important for them to really stretch their arms, 
legs, neck, everything else, uh, especially their legs, to make sure that they're ready to do a lot of movement that we've got. Uh, we might spend 10 minutes on this, we might spend 15 minutes on it, just depends on uh, how much time we have, but it's an important part of practice. Okay, so let's assume we've been stretching over here for 15 minutes and now we're ready for our next drill. Now, this is, this is a little bit of a different way to start practice, and I'm sure you haven't done this before. I found that this is a good way to start. All we're going to do is throw and catch the ball five times. So throw it, catch it, throw it, catch it five times. Here we go. Okay, now we had them throw and catch the ball. I don't know if anybody noticed we had people dropping the ball. We had some people call mine. We had some people just kind of lobbing it over. And I find that this is a good time to really get our minds and uh, practice focus. So now I want them to throw the ball using the correct arm swing when we're going to go to hit. So my elbow is going to be high and I'm going to throw it to my partner. Okay, so I'm really looking at your arms now. Really get that stretched out. Here we go. Let's just do it back and forth three times. Really looking at your arm, trying to make sure it's a good, solid, high elbow. Good, high elbow. Okay, we got him three times. All right, if somebody drops the ball now, we're going to start over. And so we're trying to put just a little stress on our team, not much, but just a little pressure so they'll start concentrating early. So now we're looking at nice high elbow in the throw and a catch. And when you catch it, I want you to get in position so you're directly behind the ball. So now we can practice our arm swing, but also our foot shuffling and staggered stance with my right foot forward. We're going to do that back and forth until you've done it three times. But if I see somebody drop the ball or they don't move to get behind the ball, they just reach out and grab it, we'll start over. All right, here we go. Good. Nice high arm. Good. We're, we're working on movement. Nice job. Okay, whoa. How have we done? Okay, I think we got through that okay. Nobody dropped the ball, which means we're concentrating more. So now let's do a, an, add another one. We're going to have a nice high arm swing. We're going to shuffle with my right foot forward, and I'm going to have to call mine. Okay, let's do that. Here we go, three times. We feel like it's real important to talk during the volleyball game, so we're going to just start out nice intensity there. Make sure you're really working on your arm swing, moving in position. Oh, stop. We've got to start over. We lost a little concentration down here. Here we go. Throw and catch. All right, stop. We've got to start over. Somebody didn't call mine before she caught the ball. Here we go. Here we go. Want to make sure we're shuffling our feet. Good. Good. Call it loud and call it early. Oh, way to get over there, Brittany. Stop. Start over. We, have, we lost a little concentration again. See, it, this seems like a very simple drill, but we take this and we put this into our other drills, and we see how easily we can lose focus on something. Okay? We would start over. Let's do one more thing we're going to add to it. Now I'm working on my arm swing. I'm working on shuffling my feet. I'm working on calling it. What else does your coach tell you to do in the game all the time? Watch the ball. So as you throw it, I'm, my eyes are going to follow it in here to my hands. And that sometimes, you know, people take their eyes off. As it's coming to me, I take my eyes off it, and that's when I drop it. So those four things, arm swing, movement, getting behind it, and we're going to catch the ball, follow it all the way in, and call in mine. All right, let's try it. Three times back and forth. Lots to think about. Watch it all the way in. Good. Oh, somebody dropped. I heard someone drop it. We'll start over. Here we go. On one. Good. Good. Way to follow it in. Nice job. Good. Good. All right. Let's, did someone else drop a ball? Okay, let's assume that we got through that. 
I feel like this is really worthwhile to start practice like this. It just makes us start thinking about moving my feet, calling the ball, and trying to do the right things, and also keeping my eye on the ball. All right, this next one, let's move you up just a little bit, and you stay back, and all we're going to do is just set the ball back and forth. Set the ball overhead pass, the ball back and forth. Okay, let's try that five times back and forth. Move your feet. Okay, let's say we got through that. Now, uh, this is just, this is not really setting. This is just the overhead pass. It's going to be very important that these are all antenna height because we all want to have the same set so our hitters can get their rhythm down. So we're going to start them all at the same time on this side. Start all the balls over here. Okay? And she's going to, you're going to yell, you're going to be the talker, you're going to be the counter. You're going to toss it up and you're going to say, ready, we'll toss it to ourselves and set. And so when you get contacted over here, it should, you should say set, you'll say set, and you'll keep it, the ball in tune with this. So all the balls will be going at the same time. And when I yell stop, we'll see if all the balls are on the same side. Everybody got it? All right, we're just trying to be real disciplined. Here we go, ready, you're talking. You're trying to follow their height right here. Stop. How'd we do? How high do we want these to go? Antenna height. These people are setting the standard right here. So I'm going to be talking to them, and you better be looking to make sure you're catching up with theirs. All the balls over here. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Ready. Set. Set. Good. That's a nice antenna height. Make sure you're going the same as hers, right here, antenna height, antenna height, good. Those are good. Stop. How are we doing? We've got some work to do. We've got some work. Now again, this will take practice and so we'll continue to do this memory every day until we kind of get this down. All right, let's move on to another. These are quick ball handling drills. I want you to set to yourself, turn around and back set to your partner. You set to yourself, turn around and back set. All right, let's try it. Stop. We'll try and do this in our practices. We'll try and go for 30 seconds without anybody making a mistake. Again, just a little team pressure for everybody to concentrate and do it correctly. Let's try and go for 15 seconds. Go. Stop. We missed on the first try over here. Set to yourself and make sure you get a good back set. Here we go. We got two seconds that time. Go. Stop. We got to five seconds that time. We're getting better. Let's try it one more time. And when you really get good, you might set to yourself and turn to the left one time, and the next time you might set to yourself and turn to the right. Just to really make sure you have excellent ball control. Let's try this one more time. Okay, hold it. So what this says to me is we really need to work on backsetting. And most of us aren't going to backset. But if you want to be a multi-talented, multi-skilled on the court all the time, you need to learn how to do everything. So we'll do just a little bit of ball control drill. Now let's try where we pass back and forth. This time you're going to pass to yourself, turn around, and pass back to your partner. OK? Here we go. Okay, hold it. Let me give you just a little bit of a hint. Pass it to yourself high enough and quickly turn around and get yourself lined up because whenever you pass it back over the net, you want to make sure you know which way your shoulders are facing. If I pass it up and do this slow move, I'm not going to get all the way around. We're looking for quick feet all the time in volleyball. All right, here we go. Pass to yourself, get stopped, pass. Good, good, good. Nice ball control. All right, 
Hold it just a second. Let's have all the balls on that side right now. All the balls on that side. How can we work on correcting this? Let's have you pass the ball to yourself five times. We'll try and identify the problem. Pass to yourself five times. Here we go. At least antenna height. One, two. Good. All right, let's give them the balls. You guys are okay. Let's see who this is. We'll figure it out. Pass to yourself five times. All right, good. So when you've got some time at home or you're alone in the gym, you start practicing pass to yourself, maybe a quarter of a turn, and you can pass to a partner, a quarter of a turn, pass, all kinds of things that you can do for ball control. But it's really important we try and do that. Are we ready for a drink break? Yes. Every time we get a drink, we're going to do just a small little type of a core conditioning type thing. So let's put the balls away right there. And we always do it off of the court, and I want you to do what's called a side bridge. You know what a side bridge is? Everybody lay down and face that direction. Lie on your right side. Make sure you stay off the court in case you're wet or anything. And when I say go, normally we would do this for about 30 seconds. We'll do it for about 10 seconds now. When I say go, I want you to raise your hips up off. You're going to be nice and straight, and we'll hold it. Ready? Go. That looks good. This Stay up there. This is good for building what? All your core, all of that internal muscle that you're going to need to hit and block and everything else with. Okay, stop. We'll act like that's 30 seconds. When we would come back, what do you think we do before we get on the court again? We'll do the other side. All right, let's try the other side real quick. This is called a left side bridge. Usually we'd get in a nice line, but you guys look pretty good. All right, up. This works on nice balance all the way through. The longer we go, the more some of them start to shake, and you can really tell they really need work on some of this. But it really helps. If we have somebody that drops down too early, we start over, get our hands off the floor, keep going. We just like to keep talking to you. All right, let's stop. OK, this next part of practice, still in the ball control mode, we're going to come on out. We always want to work a little bit on defense toward the beginning of practice. We'll have three diggers and a setter on each court. Just working with your coach, three diggers and a setter. Dig the ball up. The setter will set it back to the coach, and we'll try and keep the ball in play. Switch around if you need to switch around as the ball stays in play. All right, here we go. We'll just go about a minute for each group, and then we'll just keep going. Ready? Lots of talk, calling out who, where the ball is. Call out where he's looking, where you think he's going to hit. Good. Nice job. Nice job. We're getting a lot of movement on the court. OK, good job. All right, let's switch groups. Switch groups. Nice job. Way to keep it in play. Let's switch setters on each side quickly. So you get to back set, you get to front set. Ready, go. We try and keep the ball in play every time. Nice job. Make sure you're stepping toward the target. Good call. Base position. Back up. Nice job. Watch the ball. Can you guys get the ball for me, please? Thank you. Make sure we keep the balls off the court. Nice job. Step forward after you dig. Swoop. Nice effort. Here we go. Keep going. As long as we've got effort, we're fine. Nice job, setter. Get out here, setter. I want you to look like you're going to set me. Oh, always stepping forward. Stop. Let's switch again. Setter, switch. Setters always look like you're setting left front. Always look like you're setting left front. Here we go. Ready? We want to make sure you get in on both sides. Hold it just a second. Let me add a left side hitter right here. Let me add another digger back here so we'll have four diggers. We'll have a left side digger over there. Right here, right here. Good, go. All right, we're going to make sure we review who goes in front and who goes behind. Who goes in front here? She's going to go in front because she's closer to the ball. All right, here we go. Nice job. Go back to base. Now get off. Good, back to base. Off again, good. Nice job. Always look like you're setting out here now, setter. Back to base. Good, back to base. Hold your follow through and step through. Diggers, hold your follow through. Go. You want to go behind now. 
One thing for sure is we don't want to stop. You go behind, she'll go in front. <coughs> Ready? Stopped on defense. Need you to, we need you to get back deeper, deeper, deeper. When you're go to base right here and then get back deep, way back deep. Hurry, hurry. Back. Now back to base. Now back deep. Now back to base. <coughs> Good job. All right, let's stop. So we would continue this until everybody's had plenty of time out here on our defense. Now let's take him through a little run through, Mike, so we can work on that. Just a few minutes of run throughs. We're going to try and count when we get to so many. Pass it back to me. I'm the target. Good. Good. I'll count till we get to 20. That's four. Five. Here you go, Mike. Six. Pass it nice and high. Seven. Eight. Nope. Nine. Ten. Whoop. Eleven. Make sure you get it right in the middle of the court here. Keep the balls out of the way. Make sure you get it right to me. 12. Nope. Right here. 13. 14. 15. 16. <coughs> it needs to be a little higher. Three more. 17. A little in the middle of the court. Nope. 18. 19. 20. All right, nice job. Okay, let's take another drink break. This time we're going to do a back bridge. So heads facing me, lying on your back. And when I say go, you're going to get, raise your hips up, your elbows are down on the ground. You're going to raise up, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, and your hips are going to be up in the air. Hips up. Hips up. Actually, that's not it, Brittany. You're going to be up on your elbows. And legs are straight. And now you're going to raise your hips up off the ground. Ready? Go. This is a back brace. So the back we called, we did the side, side one before. And we're going to come back and do a front. OK, stop. How's that feel? All right, so we go get ourselves a drink. And then we would come back. And let's do it on the front. So you're going to lie down. Put your elbows down, and when I say up, you're going to get your hips up off the ground and get straight. Ready? Go. This is really good for your back. Back bridge. Looks good. Now, if you've got any kind of shoulder problems and you don't need your body weight on it, we need to make sure we're concerned about that. Okay, this is part of, we're continuing part of our practice, and now what we're going to do is really, this is a focus on team serve reception and serving. So we're going to ask you to pass the ball to the target. And uh, you're going to set. We've got a group of outside hitters over here. One of them we need is a blocker. We can have a blocker. After you hit, then we'll let you go and block and come back over here and hit again. So they're just worried about getting in some hitting repetitions, some blocking repetitions. After you pass the ball, you're going to step out, and somebody's going to step in for you. This team likes to pass with three, so we're going to start with that. You all are just working on serving. Coach, if you want to give them serving signals, that will help everybody really be involved in what they need to be involved in. She's going to keep track of good passes. We're going to try and get to 10. If the ball goes over the net, it's going to be a minus 2. If it's an ace serve, it's a minus 2. OK, so we want to get to plus 10 right here. All right, let's start. Start right there. Here we go. <clears throat> Hey, was that a good pass? All right, here we go. Go ahead. Servers, be ready to go. That's a good pass. <clears throat> nice job. Now, setter, we've got a blocker up there, so you may want to step in and cover. You may want to step in and cover. All right. Good job. Make sure you land on two feet, hitter. OK, here we go. Move back just a little bit so she doesn't hit you. So far, we have four good passes. Servers, you need to toughen up just a little bit. You're given zone still? OK. Making sure we're switching it around. OK, here we go. All right, we need to make sure we pursue that quickly. Here we go. Next serve.
Okay, nice job. If, if the setter has a, if we have a pass that's way off the net, we want to make sure somebody else steps in and takes it. If you could get a better set than she could running back there. Okay, we're at plus four. We've had a nice opportunity for us to get some swings out here. Here we go, next ball. Mike. Good pass, excellent technique. Oh, way to keep our eye on the ball now. Make sure you try and get it just two feet inside the antenna, two feet off the net. Keep serving. Good job. Passers, I'm very impressed. That's not quite tight enough. I'd like it to be a perfect pass that she can set the middle. So let's take that one back. All right, here we go. People are still switching in and out. Good. Nice job. Covering setter and covering out here. Now let's take a minus because we weren't paying attention. Thank you. Here we go. Make sure we're going to cover. Good pass. Cover. Oh, we almost got another minus. Let's stay focused on this. We're trying to make it as game-like as possible. All right, that's another minus two right there. Stay intense here now, passers. Lots of talking. Ready to serve. Servers, let's make sure you guys are spread out all over the place, okay? Not just the middle of the court. Okay, nice job. Next server, quickly. Okay. Okay, that's just a wash. That's not a good pass. Next server, ready to go as fast as we can. Good. In. Four. Okay, setter, make sure you don't back yourself up there. If it's a pass over here, you don't back up and encourage her to back it. You stay right here. You got to keep your feet disciplined and watch her. Don't back up here and, and then have to chase it down. All right, here we go. All right, let's stop. Let's act like we've gotten to 10. Now I need the middles over here. Now we're going to work on middle attack. Where do you receive a serve from? Are you just like back nope. here? Right there. Good. That's where you want to start. All right, here we go. Trying to get to 10. Okay, if the pass is way off the net like this and we can't run the middle, what are our other options here, A, B, and C? Okay, let's everybody make sure we're ready for that. Okay, here we go. That was a great set, by the way. Next ball. Up, up, up. Is that a two? Is that a one? Okay, let's hear you yell nice and loud. Yell a one so she knows what you're up there for. Here we go. Okay, if middle, let's come back here again. If you're right here and she serves at you, pass it. Okay, we're going to practice with you passing. I don't want to have this girl have to worry about coming up here. You pass it, but you just pass it high enough that you can get out there and hit a shoot or whatever you're going to hit. Or you change the play. Okay, cover setter. Down low and cover. Every time we get a chance to practice something, let's do it. Here we go. Next serve. Okay, good job. Here we go. Middles, let's have you start from outside there. All the way up. Middles, go all the way out there. All right, passers, tell me what you did when the ball was out. You turned your back on the ball? Come back here and show me what you did. What'd you do? Shuffled back and said, I'm on the line. The ball must be out. Good job. OK. Way to chase him around back there. Here we go. Oh, next ball. Middle, come off the net just a little bit. Good. OK. I would say to you, if the pass is way over here, we are not going to run a shoot set successfully. But you just did it. So I'm very impressed. I would never have had my team do that. But I don't know how you did it. But C setter, I told you earlier, teams like to pass the ball over here. So that's why we've got to practice coming backwards. OK? Nice job. I would not have, I would have told my team, don't even block it. There's no way she can hit it. But they've identified amongst themselves what their range is. And that was very impressive. OK, here we go. The better the pass. All right, next ball. Here we go. Is that a minus two? Good, thank you. Okay, good job. 
We're on four over there. We're trying to get to 10. Hold on just a second. Sorry. OK, team serve reception. Some of you, we, we want to make sure that we identify seams. And so if the server's on that side, who goes in front and who goes behind? I go in front. You're going to go in front. So show me what your arms are going to do. You're going to tell her, I've got short in front. And you're going to say, I've got back here. OK, so if it comes in between you, and what are you going to say? You've got right here. Put your arms out like this. The server's way over there, so all you're doing is identifying if a ball comes in short right here, she's going to go in front, and you're going to go deep. If it comes in between you, you're going to go in front, and you're going to go deep. OK? That's because the server's on that side. Now, when they have another server over there in just a minute, what are we going to do? It's going to be the opposite direction, OK? So in between every serve, I need to see the passers looking at the sideline and the end line to know where they are and telling each other real quickly who's got the seam. So we're not just back here spacing out in between every serve. We're going, OK, I've got this. You've got that. Ready? Let's pass. OK, who's serving? Right over there. Let me see your seams. Good. Good. Short. OK, let's go with something now. Back row, are you a passer? Passer. Could you have been a hitter? Yes. OK, you, you take over as an attacker. If you pass her and she's off the net, you go as an attacker. Setter, I'd like to see you change it up. Okay. If we're off the net, don't force the middle. Okay. We're trying to encourage them to go. I'd also like them to be active and in here as back row attackers. If you never set them, they're never going to be ready. OK, so we're going to try and catch you now. All right. We're up to five points. That's good. Go, 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 go. All right. Quickly, try not to set into trouble. You set right into trouble. We've got trouble coming this way. She's coming this way. The blockers are now. Everybody's focusing on this side. I need to get it out of there, and you're ready to hit. Do you understand what I'm talking about? You set right into a big mess. We can get ourselves out of a mess, but you've got to get it. OK? Good. We got six. Let me see. Where's our seams? All right. Oh, I got it. OK, every time, check the line. Let me see your seams. Where are they? Good. Where's the sidelines? Where's the sideline? OK. The sidelines behind you? <laughs> go middle. Go middle. Good. You can go ahead and hit that. You go ahead and hit that. we got to be ready for that. That's a minus two when we pass it over the net. You get in a ready position and be ready to attack. OK, middle? Ready. Here we go. In, in, in. Go, go. All right, the old help offense. What happens when the ball goes into the net? Can I have a ball here, please? Ball. What happens when the ball goes into the net? Is it yours, hers? How can you get it out? All right, wait for it to come out. Not Now a little bit, pass it up a little higher. There we go. Now we've got time to set it and get it out, OK? Also, if it's coming here real slow, what else can you do with it? Have you ever hit it real hard into the net? Yeah, you just hit it into the net and let it come out, and somebody else can play it over then, OK? So think you've got, if it's going real slow and you need to just swing it into the net, it'll come out, somebody can play it. All right, a couple more balls. Let's lower that back row attack. We don't want to have time for three blockers to get over there. Middles, let's come from over here. We need to always try and change it around where we're coming from. And let's go back here and pass with four. Let's pass with four. Do you know how to pass with four? Step up here. All right, we want to be adaptable to all kinds of things. Here we go. Good. Nice job. OK, next middle up. You just call it. Good. Mine, 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 mine. That's good. Nice job. Mine. OK, very good. Where did you set into? Trouble. 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 We have trouble. We're all right here, which means they're all right there. Get it out of there. OK? It's a very common mistake. Everybody just does the easiest thing. But you've got to think, my gosh, we're all crowded, which means the blockers are all crowded. Get it out to somebody else. An outlet pass. All right. All right, next ball, just one more. 
which is still trying to get to 10. Who's up? Good. In, 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 in. Oh, deep, deep, tight, tight. Blocker, that's your chance to attack it. You're not scaring me when you're digging those. I want to see you become a powerful blocker. That's your practice over there. Here we go. Blocking position ready. Go ahead. Good. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Good. Now, when you've got that, let's put it somewhere where it's a little tougher, like deep in the corner, okay? All right. That's a good job, I think, on team serve reception. We're getting a chance to practice a lot of things. Our middles are now warmed up. Our outsides are now warmed up. Setters, and you did a, setter, you did a great job. Servers, I thought you got a lot of good practice trying to hit zones. Passers, you guys were excellent. I was very impressed. We're going to go into what we call position training. So we're just going to work with our outside hitters right now. Then we'll come back and work with our middles. Pass and hit. If you've got something special you want to work on, you go ahead and do that. All right. Ready? Four, four, four. Play it out. Play it out. OK. Go ahead and play it all the way out. All right? You guys go ahead and play it out. Setter, you come in there and set. Here we go. Hold on just a second. Sorry. You're going to alternate. You hit, then she hits, then you hit, then she hits. Here we go. Next hitter. She's one and one. Okay. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Now, again, we're trying to make sure they get something good to swing at. She is, she's one and two. You got it? Right, but I need to, she's the red score and the other one's the blue score. So one and one. This is usually the most difficult part of the game. It is. Keeping score, it's a coach's nightmare. So we always try and have a flip score over there so we can keep track of it. Ready? Okay, she scored. Next ball. A little Mike. tougher serve, Mike. Four. Good. Let's have you get back there and really give them just right back there and serve it at them from right there. Here we go. Next serve. We really want them challenged with this a little bit more. Good. Go defense. Hey, great intensity. Way to go for the ball over there. Nice effort. Oh, way to see that, Brittany. Nice job. Next ball. Blocker's ready. Good. Good job. Way to call it and change it up. I like that a lot. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Way to be ready, setter. Play it. Cover. Good. All of you have to be ready for every play. We still have one more for each person. Here we go. Nice play. All right. So defense didn't control that. That's a point for the hitter. Next, Brittany, is this your last one? Here we go. One more for you. That's a great pass. That's a great pass. Nice job. OK, stop. All right. So what we did is we tried to match up our two outside hitters to see who we felt like was the most successful. I thought both of you did a good job of passing first and then getting out to hit. Now we're going to come over and do middles. We need all of our middles over here. And we're going to do what's called a middle hitter transition drill. Our college team did this six blocks and six hits successfully. Sometimes we do it four in a row. So I want to make sure I start slow enough that I don't wear somebody out. I need somebody over here handing one of you middles. Here we go. Are you ready? Set it quick. Good. Somebody count. There's one hit, one block, two hits. Two hits and one block. Three hits, good. Here we go, three hits and one block. Four hits and one block. There's two blocks. Come back, come in quick, go. Looking for one more block, keep going. Here we go, one more block. Get the balls up please, guys. Here we go, watch the ball. Come on, here we go, keep going strong, strong, strong. All the way through, get a good block. Nice job. OK, way to go. This is called a middle hitter transition or a blue lip drill because we run out of oxygen real quick and our lips go blue. Very nice. That was very nicely done. Are you doing OK? 
You need to be replaced. Everybody else all right? Coaches, you have enough balls ready to go over there? All right, ready? Ready. Good, one hit. Somebody hand in to me, please. One hit. Two hits. Two hits still, no blocks. Three hits, no blocks. There's one block. Four hits and one block. Four hits and one block still. Get up in the air quickly. Five hits and one block. Two blocks. Good, six hits. Six hits, let's go blockers, help them out over there. Seven hits, good, nice job. So it almost looks like our offense is ahead of our defense, huh? Offense is ahead of our defense. Let's switch it up again, we've got another middle. All right, good. It's one block, one hit. Good, that's two hits, two blocks. Three hits. Three blocks. Is that it? Yep. That's great. Congratulations. We'll be moving your number of repetitions up. Next person, come on over. Let's go through it one more time. Now I'm going to move over here. Everybody else switch up a little bit. Why would I move over here? Here we go. Somebody else blocking right there, please. Let's go. Fill in. Fill in. Put the balls down. Are we ready? Four hits, four blocks. Okay? You guys are doing great. Are you okay right there? Watch, make sure you don't get hit. Here we go. All right, hold on a second. Follow the ball. Just follow the ball. If it's way off the net, you got to get away from her. Here we go. Good. Good. We need a hard hit out of the middle. Okay, there's, two, is that two blocks? All right, there's one hit and two blocks. Three blocks. Is that in? Okay, two hits and four blocks. Four hits. Is that four hits and four blocks? Good. See how much more efficient you got? Okay, nice job. Ready? How many times? Four and four, right? All right, here we go. One, one hit. Oh, that's a net. That doesn't count. Hold it just a second. Now, I'm not going to count it. You need to hit around her. If you're just hitting straight into her, I'm not going to count that because I'm going to assume you're going to just stuff her next time. Okay? Here we go. Let's start again. Ready? Try and hit around her. Good. There's one hit. Good. One block. Make sure you set it to her right side or her left side, okay? All right. Here we go. Keep going. We'll get it. Is that two blocks? Block with your hands. You need to get up a little bit earlier. Okay, there we go. We got three blocks and one hit. There you go. Two hits. We're halfway through there. Four blocks. Block that with your hands. I'm seeing a lot of forearm right there. Yeah, well, somebody's going to hit those off that gets pretty smart. Here we go. You're a little bit late on that. Get up quicker. Low and tight on your blocks. Up early. Up early. Good. There we go. Go and block again. Hands. That's better. One more hit. Good. All right. Nice job. You got much more efficient. Okay. We're going to work on team serve receive right now. But this is, we're going to say this is, this is the 18's team versus the 16's team. So we're trying to keep score. We're going to give you an opportunity to receive five balls. And we, you need to score on three of those, or else there's a slight consequence, OK? If you let them score on three out of five of those, then you have to pay the consequence, OK? Remember, it's not a punishment. It's just a consequence. All right, so we have the 16 stir. Make sure you're not overlapping over there, setter. I'm watching you. OK, here we go. Just keep, just, just on this side, just keep, you can just keep track. Yeah, that's their one. They got a zero. Here we go. Okay, that's one right here. Next serve. Okay, 
that's another point for them. We're going to continue to play it out till it's a dead ball. That's a point right here. Okay, how many times have they served? You're trying to keep score right there. Well, let's keep track of that. That's three balls. Yeah, we're doing three out of five. Here we go. That doesn't count. Here we go. Okay, that team wins. Your consequence is to run down to the end zone and come back quickly. Touch the bleacher, right back. <clears throat> back to zero over there. Back to zeros. Here we go, server. Are you ready? You guys get to rotate. That's what you get to do. Next server, quickly. Okay, we're going to keep doing this until we can get ourselves out of this rotation. Make sure you're not overlapping, setter. Point for this side, you got one. Next serve. Make sure you cover. Cover, cover. Make sure you get in here and cover. That's another point, okay. Next serve. Okay, that's three points, nice job. Right over here, touch the bleachers and get back in your position quickly. You guys get to rotate. How fun. Hurry. Back down there, you guys, same server. Same server. Four, four. Okay, that's a point again. Nice job. Let's throw the ball off to the side. Next serve. Cover, cover. Nice job. Okay, that's another point over here. Ready? Shoot, shoot. Cover. Okay, that's a nice job right here. Off the court, five sit-ups, quickly. Off the court, five sit-ups. You guys get to rotate again. Nice job. Here we go, defense, back up. Next, same server. Okay, way to attack the seam of that block. So let's score some points on that serve now. Great job. That time you set out of the trouble. Did you see that? That was very good. All right, what have they got? Two points? Here we go, defense, tighten up over there. Great, nice job. That's a point for the defense over here. It's one to two. Here we go. That's four hits. That's a point for the defense. How many balls is that out of? Four? All right, you got to get it on this one. All right, this team right off the court, five push-ups, quickly, good push-ups. Come back in the same rotation, off the court, please. Off the court, we don't want any sweaty buddies out here. All right, you guys get to rotate, ready back there to serve? Same rotation, ready? Well, it wasn't four, nobody hit it. Here we go. That's all right. Point for right here. Point right here, score. Yeah. 
Off the block, another point over here for the defense. Good job, defense. All right, same thing right over here. Off the court, off the court over there. Let's do a right side bridge. Right side bridge, you're on your right side. Everybody up. You guys get to rotate again. Nice job. Servers, you need to, we need to vary where you're serving from along there. Everybody's on that same side. Okay, back out here, same rotation. Let's get out of this rotation and that'll be the end of this drill. Ready? Good job. The point over here for offense. On the net over here, out of bounds. Point for the defense again. Something good to swing at, setter. Let's keep him off the net. Sorry. No. My fault. Sorry. I don't know how that's my fault, but somehow I'll take the blame. Point for the offense. Play until you hear the whistle. Sometimes we're not very good at officiating. We've got to be ready. Point over here for serve receive. Nice job. Okay, you guys are off the court. Let's do five tuck jumps real quick. Five tuck jumps. Nice ones. Okay, and we'll end that drill here. Once we've got our starting lineup to go all the way around in six rotations, then we'll be finished with that drill. So I thought we did a nice job. Defense played tough. We got to work on all kinds of reception patterns going as pretty quickly. I like to move at a quick pace. Nobody gets bored. When the game come along, when the game time come along, it's almost like it's too slow for us. Okay, we're going to finish practice with one more drill, and that is called, uh, we're going to do a six-on-six six drill, a little bit like this. We always want to end with something fun, and that means six-on-six six because it's game-like. Now, what I have in my hands are some situations, some game situations, and then some consequences. So what we'll do is I'll let you guys decide what the situation is, and then if you lose, you have a consequence. But you get to decide what it is. Okay, so let's have somebody over here choose the situation. I don't care. These are just all different game situations. Okay, the score is 20 to 20, and you can only score a point on a free ball. Six on six, the score is 20 to 20, and you can only score a point on a free ball. Okay, you just that's you get to rotate and serve. No points. Here we go. Rotate and serve. Mike, they need a ball here. Ready? Rotate your serve. Over here, your serve again. Okay, now think about the situation. Think about how you're going to score points. If it's real close right here, instead of attacking it, I might want to pass it up to my teammate and yell free ball so we can get a point. This is trying to make you think. Okay, rotate your serve. Here we go. Let's hear you talking up here, defense. Who's hitting? Watch those boxes there. Here we go. Next serve. Next serve.
Okay, another serve right here. Try and serve tough to force him to give you a free ball. Next serve, here we go. Nice job, next serve. Okay, let's see you guys change something up there. Now they've got a couple of plays in a row. Quickly, here we go. That was a point. You scored on a free ball, right? All right, good. So they got one point. Here we go, your serve again. Sorry, that's an illegal hit. Here we go, one more ball. Again, I would have backed off the net and passed that up. All right, let's see if we can end this. A real good one right here. All right, nice block. Okay, we'll call that over. Normally we would play until the natural conclusion of the game if that's 25 points. All right, people that didn't win, let me see you over here. You get to choose a consequence. I wonder what they are. Thank you. I got it. Lunges. Go to the end line. You're going to just do a lunge down here to the center line. Okay? Just lunges to the center line. You ready? Go. Good. Nice job. So we're trying to just do, complete our practice plan with something that's fun, some kind of a six on six drill, and a variety of scoring options, usually play into the game score conclusion. And then just a slight consequence, something that makes them a little uncomfortable while the other team maybe gets a drink. I hope you enjoyed the tape we just did on practice and drill design. I think if you can use some of the concepts, you can see that we've got uh, some coach oriented drills, player-oriented drills, but the more you can keep uh, all the kids involved on your team and the players start the drill, I think you'll find the more successful they'll be in a game.